reason why, like, I just want to say this first before anything, when I was on a reality show, people were like, why didn't you say you sing? Because I didn't want to be another rea reality girl on the show, like, oh, I sing, listen to me, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what I went there for. I'm on the Bad Girls Club. I wasn't there to be a singer, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I've been singing since I was little, and I always loved it. I started off singing Disney movies and all that. Mm -hmm. So now that I have the resources, mm -hmm. slowly I'm starting to really get into it, you know what I mean? I'm realizing that, you know what? I do have the talent. I do have it. Now I have friends I'm meeting people I can do this you know you make me so shy when you look at me with those big brown eyes oh baby got me hypnotized I'll do anything just to make you mine so come we, we do hear the commentary that a lot of this stuff is basically you know fake, fake yeah. not real um how how about those fights were those fights real <laughs> Every single one of the fights are real. Every single one of them. What I can tell you about reality TV is, okay, there are some things that are fake about it as far as you're putting on, on, in an unrealistic situation. Mm -hmm. We don't live in a mansion. We have computers, TV, music on a daily basis. In this house, it was seven girls. No music, no TV, no computers. So, of course, like a lot of things mm -hmm. were like... You know, I would say, like, I... You were bored. Point, yeah, <laughs> bored, and, you know, what else are you going to do when you're bored, like, seven girls in the house, you know how women are. Right. So I wouldn't say it's fake. I would say that some of it is a little bit, maybe a little pushed. You know right. I mean? They like, they, push, they push you in those situations. Yeah. How much of it is scripted? Is there any any situation? No, there's no script at all, but, you know, like I said, there's time. there was times when the producers would be like, oh, Flo, you know, Natalie is trying to blah, 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 and I'd be like, man, you're not talking to an idiot. Like, right. you could do that to the other girls. I'm saying what I gotta say, you know? Right, right. That's why I'm hardly talking shit about the girls, and they hated me, because I never wanted to talk bad about nobody. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, it's all up to you when you go yeah. on reality. And, and you should, as you mentioned, you're very confident with it. I mean, you're not you know, at the end of the day, we know this is a show, this is great promotion, mm -hmm. but you, there's a certain t level of integrity that you left oh, yeah. with. Oh, yeah. You know, which oh, yeah. not everybody can say they did. Nope, yep. I honestly, like, I'm not going to say I'm perfect. I'm not perfect by right. all means, but I went on the show at a very mature age. I was mm -hmm. 26. I mean, I knew by that time what to do, what's right, what's wrong. You know, mm -hmm. I try to help everybody else get, uh, follow the same thing. You know, when I left the show, I left it not fighting because I wanted people to be like, all right, she left like that with pride and not fighting, you know, because mm -hmm. I knew that there was more to the Bad Girls Club. I don't want to be known as just a girl from the Bad Girls Club. Right. Are you still cool with any of them? I mean, how about Amber? No, I don't no, talk to not, anyone. Not one. Not one of the girls, no, because, um, like I said, just like they are on the show, they're like that in real life. So, wow. like, I mean, if you could see yourself being friends with people who are backstabbers, shit talkers, and all that, then more power to you. But I can't do it. I, I, I can't. I can only be surrounded by nothing but realness. Like, right. You have to be a hundred percent real with me. Tell me to my face if you don't like me. Don't once I walk out of the room. Ha ha he he. Like that's not the way I right. roll. So. But I heard that you were, you know, seen out with some of them out partying or something. Was, was that uh, false? Or I was seen. I was seen with Amber and Sarah from season three. Mm -hmm. And um, before that, like if you've seen pictures, this is all oxygen promo stuff. So I try mm -hmm. to keep it professional. Right. But after the reunion. No, there was no being friends with any one of them. And when you watch the reunion, you'll see Portia. That's the only one that I speak to here and there. But she's pregnant now. Okay. So you know, she's who's she doing, pregnant by? Um, I think the same guy she was with. I, have, okay. I didn't ask her. I don't want to be all up in her business. Right, like, right. Who's your baby daddy? Like, right. I don't want to ask her. You know. <laughs> but Amber's also pregnant. You know. Okay. So yeah. So. All right. Well, good luck to her, and yeah. hopefully everything works out. Do you have done anything differently? Um. Yeah, I probably would have not tried to be so helpful towards the girls. I would have just done what I had to do and just not worry about them because me getting involved in trying to be the motherly figure and trying to guide them the right way backfired in my face. Like, everything I did, they tried to make it look like I was jealous of Kendra mm -hmm. when I was trying to help her in the club because her right. vagina was showing all over the place. <laughs> right. You're younger than me. I know what's up. You know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. did that. When I was young, I was stupid like that, too. But right. I'm trying to teach you. You're on TV. Right. Let's not show your vagina on TV. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. So I try to, like, you know, I'm not going to say I would change anything. Just the fact that I feel like I should have been more about myself and stop worrying. Because I always worry about other people. Right. That's my problem. I mean, oh, at first, I'm not going to lie. My whole family was, like, not talking to me. Everybody was not just like, oh, no, you're embarrassing us. But then as the time went by and they understood why I was doing it and mm -hmm. what the reason was behind it. It wasn't just for no reason, you know what I mean? They started accepting it. Like, my mm. brother wasn't talking to me for a while. 
now he is, you know. So everything's getting fallen into place. So. Oh. Oh. So what were you doing before the reality show? Just to kind of backtrack a little bit. Before the reality show, I was just I worked in the lawyers' offices. Like that's what my job was. I helped people get their green cards, come to the United States, okay. and live a good life. You know what I mean? Um, basically, I was a bounty hunter for a while. So, really? Yeah. How was that experience? That was amazing. That was that was. Who my did you chase down? A lot of people. Like we would go to the straight up hoods, like in New Jersey and all these places, and I would drive the truck. I was like the getaway truck. So <laughs> I'd be outside waiting. I'd be like, they're out the back door. They're out the back door and then we'd go and grab them and I would grab the girls and we would throw them in the truck and stuff. I hated arresting people. That was the worst part of the job. Wow. But I loved being able to carry a gun and wear all the cute little outfits. You said cute little outfits. I thought they were cute. I would wear like a bulletproof vest with tight black <laughs> pants and boots. You know what I'm saying? It looked kick-ass. Oh, that. wow. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever have any incidences doing that? Did you ever, I mean... Um, There was one incident where a girl tried to like grab me behind the neck but thank God I know like pressure points in martial arts and I grabbed her arm and literally flipped her over my my back, wow. like, boom, and I threw it to the floor, and I was like, bitch, stay down there, <laughs> and she just looked at me with this look like a puppy, like, oh my god, she's gonna kill me, yeah, so that was it, the closest I got to, like, anything dangerous, so. Now, this is definitely a very interesting prelude to the show, because mm -hmm. on the show, if anybody was doubting then, you yeah, now you know the girl was not playing. Yeah, I'm not playing, like, I'm not, I, one thing about me, I'm, I'm, I don't know my own strength sometimes, you know, that's why yeah. I don't like to use it, and I feel like, because I am bisexual, I feel oh. like when I fight girls, I feel like it's kind of like a guy fighting a girl. I'm a big fan of this Jersey Shore thing. <laughs> Jersey Shore. I said, people say to me, why didn't you go on the Jersey Shore? I'm like, I'm sorry, do I, am I really that bad? Like, <laughs> really that bad? Like, you know, it's kind of a little ridiculous to me because I feel like the Bad Girls Club is a way better show, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You got way more interesting things happening in Jersey Shore. You got dudes and girls doing shit that we do, like, all the time, go to clubs, like, right, right, you know what right. I mean? What's so funny about it? Like, I see them all the time in Staten Island. I don't want to see them on TV, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. Don't, don't get me wrong, more power to all of them. I, I respect what they do, whatever. It takes a lot of balls to be out there and putting yourself out there the way they do, the way they do especially. <laughs> like, but I feel like, you know, it's just a little ridiculous to me. Like, even with my show, I felt like... It's ridiculous. Like, look at the situation. Like, who the mm -hmm. hell thought of People this? People love like, that stuff, though. I and know. It's amazing who that... the hell thought of this? But you know what? I always call it football for women. So yeah. So I, I feel like it's we. It's a game. Women, women it's, need something right. too. Like the men got football. They got baseball. We got the bad girls club. Right. We sit in front of the TV. Go! No! Oh shit! Right. So we can kind of hear exactly that this is not a gimmick. This okay, is yeah. not a joke. You know. Hold She's up. Sick. She's sick. I got sick. a stuffy nose, but I'm gonna work it out right now. All right. <laughs> You make me so shy When you look at me with those big brown eyes Oh baby, you got me hypnotized I'll do anything just to make you mine I get butterflies when you look at me Oh sugar, need you constantly Without you in my life I don't know who I'd be You're the bad girl, so let's do bad things Dip it low like Christina, girl, let me